Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in the deep playthrough of Resident Evil 7. We are in some kind of a side house with which Lucas has like booby traps. Let's actually see where we are. There's a chest over there. Ah! I was like, do I need to pick this up with the scars? inventory slots that I have and I'm really like mixed in that respect because I don't want to leave anything because everything is scarce but what I can of course do it's best of both worlds pick it up put it in the, in the chest and that way I don't lose an inventory slot Well, I do have some more flamer fuel. Ah, and I actually also have like this chem fluid. What shall I make with that? I think I am going to go for medicine. Where are... I thought I had like five herbs. Suddenly I only have... Oh, here they are. Probably... Yeah, since I died, I think it might have... Reverted. While reloading that it went back to the chest. I thought I already picked up those herbs again in my inventory anyways uh, one more thing how yeah it's not like grouped or anything i think this is more like this chest is on the in the order of when you picked it up because those videotapes are all over the place one is mia one is happy birthday i do think i had another videotape as well i think i already had like three videotapes but apparently not cannot save the game unfortunately so if i die i do have to pick up those herbs again and that flamer fuel which is a bit annoying we're in like what i assume to be stables Holy shit. Oh. Holy shit. God damn it. This way, of course. Ah. Holy ah. shit. All right, screw this shit. Um, sorry, guys. Certain enemies have destructible body parts. Take out the arms to reduce the enemy's attack capabilities or destroy the legs to slow their movements. All right, again, I need to redo this, which gets a bit old. <coughs> but it is what it is. Let's first take out that annoying that one like so it does take a couple of shots <coughs> where was that flamer fuel over here huh? did I pick it up no I did not this box I apparently shot it maybe with the shotgun and its contents the contents simply 
disappeared. Which is a bummer. And I think that's even... Worth a reload. Because we need everything we can get our hands on. Here, there should be some flamer fuel in here. Yes. Or maybe I picked it up, I'm not sure, but I, I maybe I overlooked it. All right, now that annoying bugger. There he is. Oh man, I should have shot it more up close because this is... Simply taking an extra shotgun bullet. Um, I am going to get some herbs. Like so. And I... Why do I now have five? Last time I had four when I moved it. Whatever. Let's also drop the flamer fuel. And continue on our merry way. And this, it really is quite annoying because if I die, I have to s over and over redo all this stuff. Just opening up this door so that the map gets updated. Like blue that I already opened it. And we have a door straight ahead. As well as something to the left. Can I get past this one? Yes. Alright, I think a lot of those annoying creepers will pop up. I think actually that it might turn into a kind of a boss fight. Holy shit, this is quite a lot. But it's probably worth it. I think a fight will pop up in that room. to shoot this one I do need to no I also don't need to shoot that one if I just stay on the down low it should be all good except for the one where is it there which I can hardly see because of the lighting Where is it? There it is. Can I get past this one? All right. And I'm not gonna take a chance with that chest. Let's just Spend the bullets on it. Dramatically strengthens muscles and increases max health. Effects last indefinitely. Very nice. Let's take that one. Good thing I didn't do that by a knife. With the knife. And let's 
put the powerful bullets back in. And please let there be a save point before I will be bum rushed. by molded. I hear them. There's one. I wanted to say that was pretty efficient use of bullets, but that went downhill very quickly. God damn it, lost all my... Shotgun shells. I can, of course, leave them be and try to run past them but somehow i find that always a bit like unfinished business i do try to exact some revenge because of all the horrors that they're putting me through by simply straight up murdering every enemy i encounter all right i should probably Switch to another weapon. All right, we can get up there and there is something over there. And again, it really feels Like a soul room, I find. Here we go. I'm um, actually. I have to do a couple of things, so I'm not really. I uh, feel like a bit guilty, like I uh, have to do other stuff. But I'm slowly but surely getting more into it in the, in the game uh, session. Already did four episodes or something maybe five and I should appreciate the fact that it's weekend and that I finally can play like a long session instead of during the week when I'm super tired and only do like an hour here an hour there always always nice to get a safe room and some shotgun bullets what do I want more I do think that the thing that I need to do today, which is doing something on my car, I will think I will just postpone it to tomorrow. And today I will just be gaming. Um, what's this? Gunpowder, solid fuel. Let's lose that. I do have quite lot of flamer fuel so the more fuel i get i think it has 120 and i have 30 here i have 150 i have a no I, I only have solid fuel so i do need camp packs for that hey i do have a camp pack even let's just create some bullets maybe But I have like this flamer with 150 and I have the grenade launcher with two. I'm still not quite sure what would be best to keep. All right, 
that's about that. And now the question is what am I going to make? I only have a regular camp pack, so I can make regular bullets. Or an 8 kit. Find the passcode to the party room. Ah, so we're not even in the party room. Alright, the question is what to do over here? What shall I make? Yeah, I think I will just be making medicine. Like so. Do I want the gunpowder? Yes, because if I get a strong uh, pack, strong cam fluids, then I will make some enhanced pistol ammo. For the rest, I'm not really well equipped. A 26 regular bullets, one enhanced pistol bullet, three shotgun shells, two grenades. But it is what it is. Here we go. What's that on the paper? WTF. Here we go. I do think a boss fight might pop up, considering this save point and stuff. Or at least some ad. Ah, that's maybe the door to the party room. Or is it? I don't know. And what the hell is that grey door over there? Oh, this first floor I totally cleared out. And that greyed out area with the grey door. Yeah, that's maybe a top floor or something. I don't know. Speakers, so... We might be encountering some more annoying music. And I'm playing it safe over here. God damn it. All right, regular. Camp fluids. I'm just making another medicine. If there will be a big fight over here, I was thinking I could always run back to the safe room, but I don't think it's that easy because I have to jump down. And I wonder how easy it is. To get back up. So, another booby trap. God damn it. What did I get? Ah, nice. Strong camp fluids. So, like so. And enhanced handgun ammo. Alright, I have 10 enhanced. <laughs> Ew, sorry handgun ammo equipped that's always a good thing I would say we have some fans over there uh, I think there will be a lot of annoying music playing once we get down here if I will be ambushed I can make my way up there 
there is yeah and i can make my way down as well let's just see what happens here we go <coughs> It's again really pretty well done how different this feels from other sections in this game. Like the... Um Alright, I'm gonna take my chances with that one. Uh, the first hour was uh, way, uh, yeah, a lot of horror, tense, and here it's way more like, yeah, it almost feels like a different game. All right, I'm not sure whether I actually now have the regular or the enhanced ammo uh, pistol ammo equipped i think the enhanced and i found i think three shotgun shells and i got a battery which i need to hook up just check it out Texture resolution. All looks pretty good. What's this? What's behind here? I don't know. Is that an elevator? Maybe. Alright, I'm not taking any chances here. Alright, that... Yeah. It sounded like a pretty powerful shot, but I think it was the regular ammo. I think the sound was just because of the box exploding, maybe a bit more loud. 26 and... Alright. That one needs a battery. And the annoying thing is I have to pick up quite a lot. If I die here, I have to redo all that stuff because I cannot really save it, I think. That is one shotgun bullet. Can I get back to the safe point from here? I don't think so. I need to use this elevator to get back up. I do think it's an elevator. All right, so let's just see what happens. I will probably be bum rushed by Molet. Let's just see. Um, God damn it! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the ball Keep it clean, gentlemen. We have rules. Fuck you too. Alright, I hear something. Holy shit. It's how you deal with hardships in life that makes you a man, Ethan. Still alive, you have all your fingers and toes. 
God damn it! Annoying bugger. Alright, that did take like two grenades. This almost feels like you also had like a level in Alan Wake where you had like this concert area and the hard work music started playing and you had to uh, yeah, defend the, the, the stage, so to say, from wave, uh, waves of zombies and stuff. Supernatural beings really feels a lot like that. I wonder whether Alan Wake was actually first or third person. I think third. And I really must say first person is so much more immersive. All right, so now we have the elevator opened up. Anything else? Not really, right? Just double checking with a bit more lights over here. Maybe there's something in here. No. Troughs. Here we go. I wonder what to do to effectively take on that enemy because its spit is pretty far and maybe you should stay close to it and um isn't there any way to get back to the safe room? Maybe it's a matter of staying close and ducking when it starts to spit, but I'm sure it will also have like a close range melee attack. I'm not sure. It, it was not that hard of an enemy, but it was really hard to avoid its spit attack. All right. That's like a molded, right? No, I think it's like a burnt body. Maybe it's that dude from the videotape. Picking it up. And I wonder... Whether I should have picked it up with the scarce inventory slots I have. I do have the feeling that if the game puts those spills here, that it doesn't do it for... That there should be a reason probably, but... Using camp paste... On it... I'm, uh, I find that... I'm not really sure whether that's the most efficient use of it. You're next. 1408. Where does it say 1408? I didn't see that. All right, whatever. We are apparently next. Just smashing the A button. See if there's anything here. Where is 1408? Uh, that's probably, I thought it was maybe a code or something, but maybe that's just that they, that these crazy people give their victims all like a, uh, a number instead of a name. All their victims. That could maybe be it. Alright, jump scare. 
Ah, now I know the uh, the key. But where? Ah, let's first save the game. Let's see if that's very far from here. I know I'm a sissy, but it is what it is. I'm saving my game. And there was like a booby trap over here. And that game room I cleared. And what the hell is that? like a water can where the hell was that safe room over there all right what am i putting in there i am moving this one and what will i be making with the can paste I'm actually not sure. Let's see. What can I make? Medicine. 10 regular bullets. I can make some flamer fuel. I can make some psycho stimulants. I can make neural rounds. Ammo for the grenade launcher. Contains a powerful potion that affects the nervous system. All right. Flame rounds. Ammo for the grenade launcher. Sets a wide area ablaze upon impact. Enhanced handgun ammo. I need strong cam fluid. And strong first aid met also need the same for also need strong camp loot for that. So I would say I have the option between flamer fuel is not really an option, supplements also not really. I will just try to find everything myself. So it's about 10 more bullets or medicine. And those bullets are not that effective anyway, so I am going with medicine let's just create it all right topped off with the medicine let's also move one of them because i will probably find some more herbs in the world and let's save the game Let's check the time. God damn it, I forgot to put the timer. Or am I. Did I forget to stop the game actually? I'm not sure. Alright, just to be sure, guys, I um, think I am ending the episode here. I don't remember how long I was in this episode. I do think it's not that long, so it will either be a bit of a shorter episode than 25 minutes. Or I forgot to simply, yeah, I do think I forgot to stop it. It was when that enemy popped up that I heard the alarm going. So probably this is actually a pretty long episode, maybe 35 minutes or something. Um, hopefully that will upload fine and be processed correctly to 4K uh, by YouTube because they do, it does still sometimes have issues with longer files, bigger files, HDR, 4K, 60 FPS. But we'll see about that. Um, guys, hope to see you in the next one. Um, if you liked it, please leave a like, a share, or maybe even a subscribe. For the meantime, do not forget to always do keep on gaming. See you later.